So very, very excited for this. Both of these ladies just, I mean, fantastic, very technical, modern jiu-jitsu games. Going in for the double guard pull there. I mean, it doesn't get more modern gi jiu-jitsu game than a double guard pull, right? <laughs> no. I mean, expect to see Beren Bolos and, you know, loads of other techniques that I don't know the names for. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier, it's, it's very common for this uh, position to happen in, certainly in yeah. uh, the higher levels. I mean, the, the both, of both of these ladies are very accomplished in IBJJF and uh, on the, the Abu, Abu Dhabi Grand Slam sort of circuit. And it's a big difference. I think mm -hmm. a lot of the time you think sub only and you think no gi. I think you don't have as many people doing sub only gi matches and especially with this sort of rule set where you know Baron Bolas to the back and great guard passes and transitions it's not going to mean anything if there no. isn't the deep submission attempts to back yeah. them up and I don't know if you noticed but as soon as Chelsea pulled uh, Rose went for the, uh, the leg and in an IBJJF competition you know a referee might yeah. score that as a, as a takedown it's all these little <laughs> sneaky <laughs> gamesmanship smart strategic moves that are just instinctive to mm -hmm. these ladies but they're not going to mean anything nope. against these I mean not say what you will about this rule set it's simple I yeah. mean, it is w it's very simple to judge. It's very simple to uh, to explain to the athletes themselves. Sometimes not so simple to get their head around, but no. it's certainly uh, very simple in principle. And you've got to be thinking, you know, inversions here, Berimbola, back takes. This is this is exactly Prime what both territory. Th yeah, these are what <laughs> these ladies are looking for here. Both of these ladies wanting to have a really high-paced, exciting match. And, uh, I mean, one criticism of this position is that it can... If both if both athletes get into this position and they refuse to give up anything, then you can find yourself in almost a bit of a stalemate. And uh, So usually this position would be penalised at yeah. 25 seconds? Yeah, exactly. And, we're, we, you, know, you know, we don't have anything. We're, we're letting the athletes do whatever they want to do here. But... Now you can get caught in this rhythm where you're stuck with these very intri mm -hmm. intricate grip. Yeah. You know, trying to dominate the grips on the inside here and not much happening on the, you know, mm. kind of from a from a wider perspective. And from a, you know, perspective of a more experienced fighter, like that grip can mean everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's one of the things with with it's sort of the one of the issues with high level gi grappling and this style of high level gi grappling is that a lot is going on that is almost impossible to understand mm -hmm. for someone who isn't an elite level because you've got to understand the importance of each of these tiny advantages made on the inside here, the smallest gi wraps, the smallest lapel passes, and so on and so forth. Right now we're just over three minutes in and I mean exactly what we've been talking about, a lot of trying to, to, mm -hmm. to get the most dominant position but not a lot in terms of movement here. Well, I guess we'd like to see is uh, somebody to com commit to coming to the to the top position mainly. mainly. I mean, I think both these ladies know how high the level of their opponent is, mm -hmm. and if they give anything up, and, and and this is what can happen a lot in in sub only shows in competitive jiu jitsu is you can be frozen into not wanting to give anything up, knowing how well your opponent's going to mm -hmm. be able to take advantage of any mistake. So, Definitely. but you know, at the same time. Unlike a lot of the, the lower belts that have, you know, the, the blues and purples that have been competing tonight, these ladies are used to 10-minute matches. Mm -hmm. So they're used to the long game. They're used to playing the strategy, feeling out what they can get on the opponent and what they can't. I mean, talk us through a little bit of what's going on with these lapel grabs, these sleeve grabs, these trousers. I mean, at the moment, so Rose is uh, towards the uh, bicep here and... Uh, it looks like she's going to do uh, a Baron Bolo, but then Chelsea's winding that foot inside and it's stopping that position. Yeah, we saw uh, we saw Rose come up for a split second there into top position and then mm -hmm. immediately sitting back down. I think she could feel that Chelsea wanted her to take top position mm -hmm. to allow her to, to set up a, some sort of attack transition. Yeah. 
really in, in this position. It's a fight of grips and it's a fight of bringing these feet inside, right? Mm. We're almost halfway through this match and so far, I mean, no way of separating these two athletes in terms of, you know, there's been zero transition, zero submission attempts. Um, and now it looks like Chelsea's looking, look for a second like she was going to try to take top position there, but sat straight back down. And here we go. So halfway through the match, now we see a, a significant position change. I mean, no advantage to one athlete over the other, but Chelsea Lee inside the guard of Rose. And what uh, Rose is doing here, she's, uh, well, it looks like she may be attacking the wrist lock, but also... That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also, like, if you don't allow your opponent to pop, put their hands onto the chest or onto these lapels, then, yeah. you know, they're not going to be able to posture right. This is nice. High guard position wow. here, looking to talk on the arm. and not I mean, you, you can't class it as a deep uh, no. submission attempt, but I think, you know, so far, even these very low risk wrist lock attempts from inside the guard. Mm -hmm. They've got to be counting for something yeah. here. Yeah. It was definitely a threat. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. Again. Climbing high. That knee is above the shoulder there, but Chelsea's just managing to push that shoulder back out and get back to a close guard position. Now working to pass. She's got a nice knee on the inside here and a beautiful sweep executed by Rose. Top position taken. You've got to think right now she's up on those judges' scorecards. Chelsea looking to fight to get back on top and Rose possibly going to look to attack a, a foot here. Maybe she'll come to a knee on belly kind of, uh, sorry, not knee on belly, belly down kind of footlock. Two minutes 45 left in this match. Right now, you've got to be thinking that the judges are just edging this in the favor of Rose. But, you know, there's still a lot to play for. One deep submission attempt by Chelsea Lee could take this. Mm -hmm. That's a deep Delheva hook there by Rose. Pressure and heavy in this position. I think she's going to look to jump on the back here. She's got one hook on the inside. Chelsea's doing a great job of getting to her back and being able to retain a guard position. And Rose looking like she's turning up the heat here a little bit. You know, but Chelsea's got a fantastic open guard. It's going to be very, very difficult to pass. This is it. Chelsea, uh, Chelsea's background is, uh, you know, she's uh, trained a lot at AOJ. So, you know, you can expect her yep. passing to be just as good. Oh, as yeah, her absolutely. Guard I think game, right? Yeah, for sure. I think she, she does pre prefer to pass. I mean, black belt under Andre Galval mm -hmm. was at Atos for a long time yeah. before moving over to the UK. A minute and a half left. And right now, you know, really, I'm trying to think. I think no transitions from Chelsea Lee, no submission attempts. She's got plenty of time to work. She's almost into a full guard position, but beautiful pass attempted here I mean like I said the, the very very mobile dexterous legs of Chelsea Lee able to regain that guard I mean super high level guard retention here but look at that guard Brilliant. pass and side control secured but not for long enough as Chelsea tries to turn away potentially giving up her back mm -hmm. now Rose to do sort of hip escaping and really try to get underneath those hips so she can get control or uh, full control of the back I mean, she's into a three-quarter mount position here, and head and arm, that arm is across the body. She might try and get a gift wrap. She might try and, you know, try and, try and, uh, Looks like an to sell, coming. yeah, maybe sell a, 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 a gi choke here. And mm -hmm. I think it might, I can't quite tell if it's on or not. It's one of those things where it's such a tight position that it's hard to see unless you're in it yourself. And Chelsea's looking to pass out of here. Switching into an arm bar, I think, is, is Rose and... I mean, right oh. now, she's really turning up the heat. 20 seconds left. 
<laughs> is that leg going to save her? <laughs> 10 seconds here, and what should Chelsea be doing in this position? What can she do in this position? <laughs> Maybe survive. Yeah, I th and that's exactly what she's doing from yeah. here. I think we're going to see out the end of this, this match. And I mean, no doubt, I think in anyone's mind that Rose El Sharuni is going to take this yeah. by decision. You know, very slow start, really feeding out process in the early five minutes there, and pretty much bang on the halfway point. I have a feeling that it might be might have been a bit strategic there, that they that that was part of the plan. Uh, it, 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 it's you know Rose really started to throw some more attacks, and she had a lot of success there. But I mean Chelsea just a master defense there. Let's have a look at some of the replays. Talk us through it, Vanessa. Uh, so we've got uh, Rose here. She was going for the arm bars a lot. You know, she had a couple of attempts here, but uh, Chelsea just managed to get her uh, shoulder back through. And then a beautiful sweep from Rose. And then really in the end, she started to turn the heat on. That almost yeah. sufficient, that arm bar, that the choke from the back. Beautiful. You know, just really, really high-paced aggression. Yeah. And so, ladies and gentlemen, your winner by judges' decision is Rosie Marie El Sharif.